Let's bring in our global economics and policy editor Kathleen Hayes and discuss that deepest yield curve inversion since 1986. How powerful a signal is this? Pretty powerful. You know, the the yield curve, the difference between the two-year note and the ten-year uh, benchmark note, has been uh, when it inverts. That means the two-year note is higher, much higher than the ten-year yield. They're not supposed to be that way. If the economy is healthy, uh, you want to sell the ten-year note. The yield goes up, and you want to buy the two-year. But this is a very different time because there's so much worry about the Fed tightening these, you know, with excessive or successive rate hikes, and. You see, what this chart tells you is that when there's a, a, an inverted yield curve, particularly a more extremely inverted one, since the biggest, as you said, Sherry, since 1986, it's followed by a recession. Now, there have been some inverted yield curves that were not followed by a recession, but every recession has been that's what's happened. So that's why it's so important. Now, it's interesting, too, that a story that uh, moved, one of it moved the markets, but it got a lot of attention. And it's about Macro Hive, their senior market strategist, saying, you know, after these, uh, these uh, bets on a 6% funds rate in the uh, interest rate options market that started like late Friday, Monday, and is continued through this week, well, she says, you know what? The funds rate's going to have to go up to 8% to get inflation down. That's where the Fed's ultimately going to have to take it. Right now, the market's pricing in something more like 5.2, 5.3. Fed consensus has been 5.1, but they've opened the door to having to push them higher. But uh, that does seem to be kind of extreme to a lot of people, although two former Fed officials on our shows many times, Charlie Plosser and Jeff Lacker, have said between the two of them that the funds rate may have to go up to 6.5 to 8%. Now, it's also true, Tom Barkin, for example, Federal Reserve, uh, Richmond Bank president, uh, said you know, they have to stay the course. He's not ready to pull them back. But uh, it's interesting, Heidi, how, how much the markets were saying, oh, the Fed's going to pivot, it's going to start cutting rates until very recently. And now it seems like they're turning around and saying, oh, my gosh, maybe they're going to over-tighten it. Maybe we truly are heading into recession.